Hey, thanks for clicking on the video. It's Smith in the building, and today we are going to be looking at reflected ceiling plans. Now, to kick it off, we're starting off at the partial first floor plan, uh, area A, for this academy, actually. And uh, you can see here, if you didn't know about a key plan real quick, this is a full building, and this is the area that we're looking at shaded right there. So, um, I would say, if I'm going to start looking at a reflected ceiling plan, or really any plan, I like to look at the notes. And so off to the right-hand side, we look at the reflected, reflected ceiling plan notes. All right, so looking at the RCP notes, this is similar to the general notes that you'll see really on any drawing, but these are specific to the ceiling drawings. So uh, taking number one here, it says, Typical ceiling heights shall be 10 foot unless otherwise indicated on reflected ceiling plans and the toilets to be at eight feet. What it's saying is that anywhere that there's not, um, you see this little symbol here, uh, this establishes what the ceiling height is for this area here. And here it says it's 10 foot, two inches. Same could be said for this area here, it's nine foot. All right. But you're looking at some rooms like these offices here and they don't have anything indicating what the ceiling height is for this area so that's where that note applies the note says that this uh, 10 foot it's going to be 10 foot in here and then also the note applies to the toilet rooms the staff toilet room the toilet rooms here the men's and women's restroom all of those uh, according to that note should be eight foot and so that's what we're going to say about that and you can see other areas in here where it's indicated nine foot and a half nine foot nine foot two um, so that's what that's about all right let's look at another note here Uh, maybe this one here. Number four, refer to mechanical, electrical, and plumbing drawings for items not shown on ceiling plan, such as grills, speakers, sprinklers, heat and smoke detectors. Those shall all be centered in the ceiling tile unless noted otherwise. All right, so let's go down to the ceiling legend here. These are lights and different fixtures related to electrical things and that's why it says here reflect re recess down light see electrical one by four light fixtures see electrical and so that's what you'll see uh, the ceiling legend also indicates the different types of ceilings here we've got gypsum board ceilings um, acoustical metal pan ceilings two by two acoustical pan or acoustical panels and a uh, some mechanical items here as well. Uh, grills, diffusers, and things like speakers, motion sensors. So these are all of the symbols for those items. I said all that to say, if we go back to point number or note number four, we pick any area out. So you can see a lot of the mechanical and electrical items here. There's a light, there's a couple of other items. But wherever you have, um, let's say for instance, like a two by two ceiling, can we find that anywhere? Ah, right here. So this is a two by two ceiling. The ceiling tiles here are 24 inches by 24 inches. And so if there's an area in here that requires a fire or smoke detector, for instance, it's just saying that that smoke detector is going to be centered in that ceiling tile. It's not going to be off centered any or anything like that. So that's the coordination that needs to happen. All right. So there's a few different ceiling types just laid out right here. And you can go back to where I was showing the image legend, but um, we do have listed out in these offices, the two by four, uh, ceiling tiles and these are just halves of them I suppose they're cutting them in half and then you have the lights indicated there with the diagonal line across there all right and then you have the gypsum board ceilings uh, gypsum board ceilings in the restrooms 
Okay, and then you have this area here, the electrical room and the mechanical room that's exposed. That means that there is no ceiling. You can just go in that room, look up, and you'll see the bottom of the structural deck or whatever's above there. So uh, that's what it's indicating here. In here as well, uh, there are some details, some sections that you can look at to see maybe the transitions between some of these areas. Like for instance, we've established that this area here, this corridor, these ceiling tiles are at uh, 10 feet, according to that uh, note number one. But then right here, this is saying that this ceiling here is at nine feet. Now this is a soffit. Um, basically, you have a transition uh, where you're going from a ceiling that's nine foot above finished floor to a ceiling that's 10 foot above finished floor. So along this hard line right here, there's actually going to be a wall that goes up one foot and then connects over to this, if you can imagine that. But if you can't, that's why we have these details. So let's look at one of them. Let's look at C18 on A7.7. All right, so here you have the uh, the details, and there's a lot of different details to look out here. Obviously, we're not going to get into the weeds on any of this stuff, but I think this is the one that we were looking at. So the purpose of this bulkhead is to make the transition from a room where the ceiling heights are different. So here on one side of the, this is a, a door or, or some sort of, maybe there's not a door there, but you're definitely walking into another area of the building as you walk through this bulkhead. So this is letting you know the details for the wall and everything that's gonna make the transition to that higher ceiling. All right, and so yes, these are a lot of fun to look at and go through and try to decipher if you're ever on a job site. You can definitely do that, but I'm just uh, setting you up so you can be kind of dangerous out there. All right. Well, now we're actually on the second floor of that same area, but this is the second floor. And I brought you here just to look at a couple of other details. So notice this area right here. This is what I want to look at. So it says that there is a slope. It shows this two by two. I think this is the metal panel ceilings. It's showing those, but it's, it's, why does it say a slope? So how do we envision this? So looking at this detail here, which is actually on this sheet, we'll click on it. All right, so this is a open corridor. A uh, couple of things that we're seeing here is that there is some mechanical duct that is running across the corridor right there. And as we go up even further, Let's see what's going on with this ceiling. All right, so this is the curtain wall system. That's what you see along this. This is the edge, the outside of the building. And then you have the high point. Why does it say high point? It also says it right here, high point, typical, 20, 26 feet, 10 inches. All right. And then over here, it says the low point. So this is the other end of the corridor, this end right here, the low point. It drops down six feet. So what this is basically telling me is that there needs to be a six foot slope that happens in within 12 feet. And uh, if you've never seen these little squiggly lines before, this is just like a continuation sort of thing. Everything in between these squiggly lines is a continuation of this. They just didn't want to draw it in here. So it's a, a lot of the same. Uh, basically, but this is establishing that from here to here, it's 12 feet and that's what you have here, 12 feet. So that's what it's telling you that the ceiling slopes and now you've got the image in your head of what that's going to kind of look at, uh, look like. And so it's also indicating even further that these are acoustical metal pan ceiling system with a wood grain finish. So now you know. All right, so to close things up, I want to look at the gym because that's an all exposed area. You've been in a gym. There's really no ceiling in a gym. It's just the, the roof deck. So that's what they're pointing out right here. In the gym, you have a couple of different things. You have um, skylights that's indicating those skylights. You have exposed ductwork. That's what we just saw in that 
in that um, in the detail we looked at. And then you've got divider curtain electron electronically operated. So you can go through here and read all the different things painted acoustical deck. There's a lot of different uh, things that it's indicating here. And uh, that's why it's good to look at the reflected ceiling plans. The most important thing I will tell you is that coordinate. Make sure you coordinate between your reflected ceiling plans and specifically all the MEP drawings. Make sure that everything is lining up the way that it should because that can really throw off your job. But this has been all I want to say about reflected ceiling plans now. Be sure to leave a comment on the video if you feel like I missed something or if you have more questions. Um, and I'd like to hear from you. Uh, appreciate all the love and I'll uh, talk to you guys later. Peace out.